Welcome back to Behind the Hero. Tonight's heroes are the duo who recently restored peace and order to our galaxy, Ratchet and Clank. So, gentlemen, tell us about your latest incredible adventures. Well, as you can imagine, we've been pretty busy. After Drek's defeat, there were parades, press conferences, fancy dress balls. And the wiener roast at Al's. Oh, yeah, that. And then things started to slow down a bit. After that, we, well... There was the grand opening at Groovy Lube. Right. I think that was last week. Six months ago. We're still pretty busy, but in a more, uh, domestic sense. Yesterday, I flushed out my radiator core. I guess... No one needs a hero right now. Miss Noodlebottom, I found our man! Welcome! What the... I am Abercrombie Fizzwidget, founder of the Megacorp Company and the Bogon Galaxy. Bogon? I'm sorry to incapacitate you, but our entire galaxy is in a very precocious situation. I must humbly request your sustenance on a mission of dire urgitude, a mission of superfluous peril, a mission of unequivocal imperitude. Did that make any sense? So, you need me to go on a dangerous mission in another galaxy. Indubitably! A few days ago, this top-secret biological experiment was stolen from our testing laboratory by this duplicitous criminal mastermind, and I need you to get the experiment back. We'll do it. We will. Frank, I have precipitated your recalcitrance and have made special improvisations for you. We are prepared to give you a job as the head accountant for Megacorp, plus a penthouse suite in lovely Megapolis, and our state-of-the-art robotic masseuse. Deal. As for you, Ratchet, I'll need you in some purgatory shape. While in transit to the Pokemon Galaxy, you will undergo heavy training and conditioning, including martial arts, heavy weaponry, survival skills, stealth, lacrime, ballroom dance, and origami. We've used bipolar vector regurgitation to track the thief's location to a flying base in Sector 7. It will tribulate the base and retrieve the experiment. Sir, ready for launch. Ratchet reporting. I'm on final approach to coordinates 37 Alpha. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Affirmative. Beginning radio silence. I see it's time to update my security forces. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, hey, no, no. Look, I'm just here to fix the... Transflexor coil. Nice try. Give my regards to Megacorp. Finish him. for some security. You'll bring the cash, we'll bring the thrash. Good. I need your best men to meet me at these coordinates. Ratchet checking in, sir. Incredulous. I didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, so soon. There was a slight problem. The thief escaped with the experiment, and I have no idea where he was headed. Not to worry. I just received an omission which may lubricate the matter. Do you have any maps for this quadrant of the galaxy? You bet, mister! We got galactic maps, 3D maps, foldouts, cutouts, maps to the stars, and their homes. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, I forgot my wallet. Could you, you know, take care of this? Perimeter defenses deactivated. <laughs> 
forgot your change. I'm on my way. Ratchet, come in. Are you there? Copy, Mr. Fizzwidget. Listen, I have some new inflammation on our experiment's wherewithal. The thief was indemnified at Megacorp's Maktar Resort. Also, the thugs have towed a moon-sized jamming array into Maktar Resort orbit. Should I take it out? A formulas! It's disconfrapulating our annual Galactic Gladiators broadcast. See for yourself. Ask yourself, are you man enough, hero enough, insane enough to step into the ring with two of the fiercest warriors in the galaxy? If you answered yes, you're a big, fat liar. But that's okay, because Megacorp is bringing Galactic Gladiators into your home for a special Mega View event. First, it's survival of the fittest in our bio competition. Be there as Chainblade, Chainblade, unleashes his fury on our Gladiator guest contestants. Chainblade has gone undefeated in 500 straight matches. But if the bio division doesn't do it for you, our robotics division will. Taste the adrenaline as contestants face off against our four-armed bandit, the B2 Brawler, Brawler, Brawler. No living creature is a match for this machine. Watch six tons of carbonox alloy hunt for its prey. There's no consolation prize, cause this bad boy's programmed to show no mercy. So, what are you waiting for? Call now to bring Chainblade and the B2 Brawler into your living room. But put away the fine china. <laughs> the Galactic Gladiators, only on Mega View. Call your provider now. Chainblade, huh? I've got the coordinates. Ratchet out. Welcome, welcome. Uh, if everyone could take their seats, we can proceed with today's demonstration. First, I'll need a volunteer. Anyone? Excellent. Your name, sir? Ratchet. Hey! And there you have it. The Megacorp tractor beam in action. Let's give it up for our volunteer. Sir! How about taking advantage of our show special? Thank you, sir. You won't be disappointed. Yes, may I help you? I said... Everyone ready for tonight's Mega Battle! Introducing, from nowhere in particular, this guy! If he can make it past all of our gladiators, he'll take home this brand new electrolyzer! If he can't make it past our gladiators, he'll receive a consolation prize! Let the games begin! Ladies and gentlemen, the first and, uh, well, only winner of the Gladiator Games, this guy. You're now eligible for our championship series. Come back and fight again for big cash prizes. Hey, this would make a nice souvenir for Clank. Yeah! <laughs> hey! You have no idea what you're involved in. Return to your old galaxy immediately, or this will happen to you! Or this will happen to you. Farewell. Work, my boy. You are proving to be invaluable in this underwear. Anywho, it appears the thief is now under the protection of thugs for less. But I may have found a way for you to insinuate their operation. Is it dangerous? No, no, no. Uh, well, uh, actually, yes, it is. Good. Take a look at this. The wind in your hair, the sun on your skin. The bugs in your teeth. We are the Desert Riders. Before I became a Desert Rider, I didn't fit in anywhere. 
I had low self-esteem, bad breath, and a thing for ladies' undergarments. <laughs> but these guys understand me. They really do. Yeah, I'm just here for the bake sales. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, I also make these cute gloves for all the guys. So if you've got what it takes, use this temporary membership to enter the most grueling hoverbike race in the galaxy. Win it and become one of us. Desert Riders, the number one leisure choice of thugs for less. Desert Riders all use Megacorp bikes, so I just had to pull a few strings. Contract me as soon as you get more indignation. Fizz Widget, out. Clank? Okay, Clank. Don't move. I I'm coming down. Whoa! Ooh, son of a quark! All right, buddy. Let's get you up and running again. Final digit of pi is... Clank? Clank, can you hear me? Ratchet? Where are we? Hmm. I must have dozed off. Don't sweat it. Let's just find a way out of here. I believe that air duct may offer our only way out. Way to go, Clank! <laughs> Nothing to it. You did great. Now, let's go get that experiment back. Hmm. Greetings, morons. Since my employees did such a lousy job of taking care of you, I thought I'd come and handle things myself. Hey, my old swing shot and grind boots. It works! My invention works! Huh? It's called the Therminator. It fires charged thermal pellets that can thaw an ice block or freeze a body of water. Gadgetron will pay me millions. Hey, I don't know how long you've been frozen, but I don't think Gadgetron's operated in this galaxy for years. Everyone buys Megacorp products these days. <laughs> hey, maybe you'd like to buy it. Hey, maybe Megacorp is hiring. Excuse me. I think I just blew another vacuum tube. Should I have a look? My word! You young people are so fresh these days. Oh, don't feel bad. I guess I'm just old-fashioned about that sort of thing. Did you know that I've been with Gadgetron since the beginning? So you sell these gadgets? Darling, they sell themselves. Hey, who let you in here? Get lost for I flatten your robot into a hubcap. Touch him, and it's Plasma City! Oh, gosh. You didn't have to yell. <laughs> Why did he have to yell? Uh, hey, man. I can't hear you. La, 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 la. Only the little guy. Sir, it is okay. We are your fellow desert riders. You're? So you understand my sensitivities? Absolutely, sir. We just came here to race. Well, you can borrow my bluebell, so long as you're gentle. She just needs a few repairs. Hang in there, my brother. Bluebell is in good hands. Great racing, buddy. Here, take this helmet so the guys know you're one of us. Thank you, sir. Uh-oh. You can come with a message from the boss. Attention all thugs for less employees. First of all, whatever slug brain's been eating all the choochie bars in the break room, better quit stuffing his face. Hello? Hey, turn those lights off! It's bad feng shui. Ahem. <clears throat> Next, our space rendezvous point has been moved to, and listen up, knuckleheads, the Felsen system in sector one, two, three, four, five. If you're no good with numbers, find a buddy to help you. Lastly, the company picnic is this Sunday. And don't forget to bring your own juice this time. Hey! I saw that, Cletus! You just turned yourself a writer! Don't worry. The boss only yells because he loves us. Yes, sir. I do feel his affection. Did you see that broadcast? Not really. We should scope out that rendezvous point. Yes, we might intercept some stray transmissions. We are under attack. Can't outrun them. Let's hope these weapons work. Oh, yeah! I've got mad skills. 
Mad sk uh, Yeah. A difficult challenge, but one that a train commando... Hold on. I'm intercepting a transmission. For the fifth time, I have a collect call to thugs for less from a Mr. You Are Gonna Die. Will you accept the charges? Oh, uh, you are gonna die. I'll take that as a yes. Thank you. You idiot. <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm paying top dollar for your protection, and your moron employees are off at some picnic. Hey, that was a bonding exercise. Hey, not! I'm at the pickup point now. If your men aren't here pronto, you can kiss this contract goodbye. Uh, oh yeah? Well, you can kiss your, uh, uh, your, your, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, dang it. Did you trace that? Coordinates locked in. We are headed there now. So, how's the reception out here? We have sports, weather, ooh, the science channel. Keep going. Whoa, what's that? The man, the myth, the legend, the loser. Captain Quark, once the idol of everyone in the galaxy, has finally hit rock bottom. After his humiliation at the hands of Ratchet and Clank, Quark sold bogus merchandise he claimed were Gadgetron products. But a key defect in this product, the personal hygienator, caused severe irritation in sensitive body areas and alerted authorities to Quark's scam. Behind the Hero will return after these messages. Well, that explains a lot. Yes. I suppose it... All this time, my personal hygienator must have been causing that itch. Anyway, we should be at our destination shortly. Too late again. We always seem to be a bit late. Why is that? Well, let's check this place out and find out where he's headed. Psst. Got a ship that needs, uh, improvements? Worried about getting caught? At Slim Cognitos, your secret is safe with us. Whether it's weapons, shielding, or a new hyperspace module, we'll hook you up quickly, cheaply, and most important, quietly. So next time you're in the market for some uh, legally ambiguous refashioning, remember the name. Slim Cognitos. The only inspections we pass are yours. Starship mods. Hmm, well, a quick visit to Slim's wouldn't cost us much time. Or maybe we should check out that chemical factory. Someone inside might know where the thief was headed. Perhaps these robots can assist us. Excuse me? Have you seen any masked weirdos? I think I had better do the talking. <laughs> A masked customer picked up an order not long ago. Recently, they received a new transmission from him, and they are willing to show it to us for a small price. Hello, yes. Hey! Oh, no, yes, I need to order two more containers of sulfuric acid. Oops. Uh, Better make that five containers and uh, four containers of liquid hydrogen. <laughs> Better add six crates of nitroglycerin and... Look, just give me double that one. And I need it delivered. Hey, what? What? <laughs> oh, 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 nothing. <laughs> just some robot humor. Okay, funny guy. Let's just head to those coordinates. Ha! You've lost, Megacorp. Take your imperialistic eco-fascism to another dimension. Say goodbye to your franken -fest. Come on, Frank! Too slow, you corporate laggy. Clint will die, let You had us worried for a moment. 
do you suppose we should stop him? Not worth it. We got what we came for. Let's just get that little guy back to Mr. Fizzwidget. Ratchet? Spank? Is that you? We've accomplished our mission, sir. The experiment is safe and in our possession. <gasps> Why, that's cutaneous! Absolutely munificent! You two are a galopsious team! We were glad to assist, sir. We just need coordinates to our next rendezvous point. Of course. I'm on my way to give a tour of Megacorp's historical mining site. Here's a little pack talk on the fragility. Megacorp Manufacturing and Mining. A tireless drum major leading the galaxy on its march of progress. Come tour our desert mining facility and see why our most precious product is our history. When we first arrived, we found a planet completely overrun by rainforest. To better accommodate the local wildlife, we transformed this impassable jungle into an easily navigable desert. Ever the technological pioneer, Megacorp invented the automated management team, thereby eliminating costly upward mobility. And all the while, making your life richer. Megacorp Manufacturing and Mining. Our march continues to the tune of progress and profitability. Call Investor Relations today. Is that facility still operational, sir? Alas, no, but it's steeped in hysterics. I've offloaded the condiments to your naval computer. We'll see you there. Hey, there's Mr. Fizzwidget. <laughs> what happened? Everything's fine. There was just a bit of debris on the landing pad. That was our ship. Don't worry about it, little fella. It's insured. So, do you have the, uh, delivery? Terribulous! Come, gentlemen. There is precious little time. Just sit back and relax, boys. How about a little flying music? on purpose. Nah, he's just easily distracted. Yeah, well, well. <laughs> Come on, let's see if we can find a way out of here. It says, in case of emergency, break glass with wrench. Hold on. This one says, use rock to break glass to get wrench to break glass to get rock. Ooh, I love logic puzzles. Let's see, if you break the glass with the- Solved it. the experiment now I can't do that you have three seconds one two three blast <laughs> whoa he's a uh, she this changes nothing where's the experiment we have returned it to mr. Fizz widget oh you've just put the whole galaxy in imminent danger but but I don't have time to stand around explaining it to you if you have any intention of fixing the mess you've made, watch this. Oh, no. Good thing that wasn't little Susie. Here at the Megacorp testing facility, we make sure the products you buy are safe for you and your family. These are just a few of the products we've rejected to help keep you safe. The Tiny Tot Slingshot, the Nuclear Mousetrap, Self-Wedgifying Underwear, and the Lawn Ninjas. So the next time your toaster doesn't explode in your face, say a little thank you to the Megacorp Testing Facility. Wow, she's got a few bolts loose. What does a testing facility have to do with galactic danger? I am unsure. However, I believe we should investigate that location. Well, we're gonna need a new ship. Oh. Oh. Hello, sir. Hey, that's my ship. Possession is an illusion. Do not all things belong to the cosmos? Uh, no. That's definitely mine. This vessel suffers from wounded chai. Only the power of the crystals can hope to heal it. Crystals, sir? Crystals? Like those found in the desert? Beyond. 
Oh. Oh. Well, we don't have any better ideas. Let's go grab a few crystals. Put it in the slot. The weapon you want modified. Put it in the slot. Oh, I get it. You make weapon modifications. Yep. I can take your puny little weapon, and with a few, uh, tweaks, I can turn it into a powerful piece of equipment. Look, you want me to hook you up or what? I can't hang around here all day. Yes, the crystals are spiking the money with a single voice. Oh, oh. oh. That was pretty impressive. Bring me more crystals, and I'll pay you cold hard bolts. Huh? Oh. Hey, see if you can find anything worth watching. Welcome back to Behind the Hero. In yet another setback for the embattled Captain Quark, the Galactic Court ordered him to pay six billion bolts in damages to citizens suffering from personal hygienator syndrome. Only two days later, Quark was arrested trying to flee to Pokotaru. The one-time hero, now full-time Zero, was placed in custody awaiting trial. But the next day it was discovered that he had escaped, flushing himself to freedom. We will return to Behind the Hero after these messages. <laughs> what a nut! I almost miss that guy sometimes. Almost. Nobody! I mean nobody gets by the mathematician. I guess all the good names were taken. Watch your mouth, Zero, before the mathematician subtracts your head from your shoulders. Sir, as a fellow number cruncher, could I please ask what this is all about? That moon's where we divide losers from winners before adding them to the Megacorp games. There's a challenger up there ready to reduce you to nothing. Hmm. This technology looks familiar. Perhaps I could... Sweet! Think you can get us to that moon? Hey! Remember us? Divide and conquer, huh? Hey, guess you guys were prime after all! You're going to the Megacorp Games! Welcome to Megacorp Games, sponsored by Megacorp. Okay, Megacorp contestants, get ready to grapple with our Megacorp Gladiator team. And if you survive that, enter the Megacorp Battle Arena with our Mega Spider Body Arm Mega Death Defying Mega Cage Match. Then open the throttle for the all Megacorp Hover by Grace, brought to you by Team Megacorp Racing. Hustle indigenous population not owned, endorsed, sponsored, supplied, advocated, or even liked by Megacorp. Approach at your own risk. The Mega Corp Games! Keep it mega! Okay, this must be the core terminal. Let's see what we can get from it. The power appears to be out in this entire area. You're right. I better call a maintenance bot. Let's just follow him and fix it ourselves. Now, let's get the goods on that experiment. What the? I think I see the problem. What? Now even the computers are charging us? That's it. This galaxy blows. Dr. James T. Fullbladder reporting on Megacorp experiment number 13. This update is strictly classified. If you are watching this, you're fired. Early thinking held that the specimen was entirely docile in nature. Even overt provocation failed to incite it. But the late Dr. Putrid's son observed that natural levels of monster propamase in the experiment's bloodstream were triggering some remarkable changes. Attempts at neutralizing the specimen's violent tendencies were met with limited success. Our surviving staff recommend that the experiment be destroyed immediately at Megacorp's deep space disposal facility. The computer's log indicates that we were the first to view that recording. 
So Biz Widget must not know. We've got to warn him. Yellow. Mr. Fizz Widget, you're safe! Sir, brace yourself. We just saw a video of your experiment eating its handlers. I repeat, it eats its handlers! Ah, yes. Uh, low fat, extra foam, no sprinkles. Mr. Fizz Widget, do you copy? Anyone handling the experiment must exercise the utmost caution. No, no, uh, decapitated. Hmm? What? Oh, yes, yes. Exercise my frontmost cushion. <sighs> Sir, your experts recommend that the experiment be liquidated. We will meet you at your deep space disposal facility. Ah, yes, my cheap date proposal facsimile. It's heavily guarded, so make sure to use the password. Which is, uh, no, uh, Quarktastic. Yes, uh, doodaloo. Thugs for less. Pay for six hits and the seventh is free. You want us to what? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. That'd be uh, an unethical conflict of interest. What kind of scum do you think we are? Say, that is a lot of bolts. <clears throat> well, uh, since you put it that way, I suppose we could uh, undo our previous obligation. Excellent, sir. Thank you for choosing Thugs for Less. <clears throat> Attention all thugs for less personnel. We now have a new employer. Nice finish on that chrome. Uh, you buffed this out yourself? I handle my own buffing, sir. Oh, sorry, little man. I thought you was a crankshaft. <laughs> Can't see my own hand in front of my face without these. <laughs> no problem. So, how do I enter the big race? Well, you got the helmet, you're in. Easy peasy. The prize this time is some kind of special boots. I could use those myself. They'd go real nice with my leather chaps. Dang, I wanted these boots myself. But they'll look real nice with your outfit. You can race again, you know. Now the prize is a bunch of bolts. Hey, you two going to the games? Yeah, what's it to you? Whoa, take it easy, Chief. I ain't looking for no trouble. Just an honest man looking to make an honest buck. I sincerely doubt that. Hey, I ain't the one trying to get into a sold-out arena. You're gonna need this levitator to get in there. Nice doing business with you again. Time for me to, uh, relocate. Hmm. The instructions are in Blargian. Goodbye. <laughs> it says here, tab A goes into slot B. Okay, and then magnetize the graviton matrix, remove your left arm, what? and done. You do have skills. You know it. Are you ready for the main event? Introducing one of the fiercest gladiators in the galaxy, Ratchet, and some metal guy. They'll be lucky to survive against the toughest gladiators in the galaxy. Let's get it on. All right, input the password now. Check. Here goes. Um, you better check that code. I am sure it was correct. The defenses are attacking us. We've got to hold them off until Fizzwidget gets here. Come in, gentlemen. Can you hear me? Sir, you gave us an erroneous password. Implausible! Unless, uh, is this Tuesday or Wednesday? Anyway, sorry to have missed our meeting, but I was called away to film a commercial for our weapons facilitory. But, but, sir, what about the commercial? I was great! Here, watch this! Megacorp keeps you warm, keeps you healthy, and now keeps you safe. Hello, I'm Abercrombie Fizzwidget, and I'd like to welcome you to the new Megacorp Weapons Facility. We offer guided tours to show you how our weapons are made. Our highly trained experts spend their day creating the latest in heavy-duty weaponry to protect you and your whole family. So stop by today and bring the kids. Our tours are both informative and fun. 
And who knows? You just might learn something. That was one handsome fellow, eh, boys? <laughs> Fizzwidge it out. Sir, wait! Mr. Fizzwidge, come in! Perhaps we can still find him at the weapons facility. <laughs> Captain Quark, completing quality control on Super Electro Gadget. Hammer of power detecting no defects. <gasps> Ratchet of Velde. I knew this day would come. Draw your last enemy mine, for I smite you in the name of Captain Kowalski! Sweet death, at last we meet. Nobly, I fall on the field of battle. Finish me, Lombax! Come on, Clank, let's get going. W wait You shamed the greatest superhero who ever lived! You owe me something. What do you want from us, sir? Hmm. Oh, oh, how about some cool quark stuff from your galaxy? Trade you for this armor magnetizer. I believe that device is designed to attract bolts. Cool. Mwah. I'm taking the captain home before the humidity gets to him. Angela Cross calling Ratchet on Secure Band 7 Echo Foxtrot. Ratchet here. Uh, Angela? Is that your name? Ratchet was calling you something quite different. Oh, was he now? Anyway, I'm just calling to warn you that thugs for less have taken over my flying lab. But were the thugs not working for you? Not anymore. Apparently, someone's made them a better offer. <sighs> I tell you, between the thugs and the protopet, this whole galaxy's heading for- Wait, say again? Proto-pet? Oh, yeah. It's what they're calling the experiment now. Here, watch this. Why is Billy sad? Is he cold, hungry, or maybe just... Oh, no. No, 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 take it away! Lonely. No! Introducing the Megacore Proto-pet. Your child will shriek with joy when he meets our adorable friend. Wanna play ball? So does the Proto-Pet. Need a partner for tag? Go find the Proto-Pet. Up for some cops and robbers? Help! Police! So is you-know-who. Just ask Billy. No! The Megacore Proto-Pet. Stop by Planet Bolden and get yours free from Abercrombie Fizz Widget himself. You mean that thing is going to be a pet? Megacorp intends to market a killer that is simply unconscionable. Which is exactly what I've been trying to tell you. There will be disastrous consequences for the entire galaxy if that monster is distributed. We must get through to Mr. Fizz Widget. Oh, if you still think he'll listen, you should try to catch him on the planet Bolden. I'll upload the coordinates. This could be our last chance. Listen up, thugs for less. We got a big job ahead, so pay attention. Uh, Megacorp has hired us to protect their CEO, Mr. Fizzwidget. They feel that he's getting a little, uh, you know, cuckoo in his old age and are concerned for his safety. Now, Fizzwidget's kind of old-fashioned, so I want everything handled with the... <coughs> pride and courtesy people have come to expect from us. Also, be on the lookout for these two characters. I have a personal interest in seeing them rubbed out, so I'm offering a free pizza party to the squad who bags them. And remember, that includes drinks and desserts. Over and out. Put it in the slot. The weapon you want modified, put it in the slot. Oh, I get it. You make weapon modifications. I can take your puny little weapon, and with a few, uh, tweaks, I can turn it into a powerful piece of equipment. Look, you want me to hook you up or what? I can't hang around here all day. What the? This isn't Fizz Widget. Would you like a free proto-pet sample? Available today, old Where is he? Freeze, knuckleheads! Oh, no. 
The two of yous are under arrest for attempting to bump off Mr. Fizzwidget. But this isn't... Save it, Fuzzy. You're not fooling anyone. You and your metal buddy just earned yourselves a trip to our new prison. <laughs> Watch this. Thugs for Less Prison would like to wish you a happy incarceration. After a poolside orientation, all new inmates will meet one-on-one -on -one with a galactic nutritionist. This professional will ensure that you're eating a species-appropriate diet for your entire stay. Next, come check out our fitness spa with your personal trainer. Remember, a prison term can feel twice as long if you're not in proper shape. And for those times when you're just feeling blue, come talk it out with one of our 10 full-time life coaches. They'll help you find your smile again. Thugs for Less Prison. Experience the maximum in security. <laughs> What'd you think of that? That didn't seem so bad. I assume you have provisions for vegetarians. Of course. Vegan or fruit. Wait a minute. You, take them away. And impound their ship, too. Hey. Sorry. I have thoroughly analyzed our surroundings, and I am afraid that there is absolutely no means of escape. Except that. Someone's got a girlfriend. <laughs> I will be right back. Don't uh, stop for anything along the way. Hey, check this out. Another wrench. <laughs> so, did you run into your little friend out there? I do not know what you mean. Ratchet, Clank, I hope this gets through to you. I'm transmitting from the Thugs for Less fleet. This ship just returned from a Megacorp distribution center, and I think I found the answer to... that? Yes. Angela knows how to defeat the protopet. And? And she does a terrible cat impression. And we have to rescue her from the thugs. Agreed. We need that answer. And we have to protect her. Okay. I will upload the coordinates. Hey, I know those pants. And sarn it. Here's the problem. Excuse us, sir. What are you doing here? in this galaxy. I can't control where things break. I just fix them. Surely someone in this galaxy can... Shh! I know that, but they don't. I get triple time and travel expenses. Ew. What's that? Some dead burned fool flushed this perfectly good quark action figure. Sure, it's a little ripe, but look at that craftsmanship. You want to buy it? There you go, pal. See you in another year or so. What did he mean by that? I detect thugs for less ships at one o'clock. It's payback time. Well, it looks like the thugs moved Angela out of this quadrant. See if you can pick up any transmissions on the deep space channels. What is your problem? I'm trying to make a living here, and you two losers keep lousing it up. Ratchet and Clank, isn't it? Yeah. Look, if you two don't hightail it back to your own galaxy, I'm gonna blast you into so many pieces you'll need a... Um, uh, well, there's gonna be a lot of them. I can tell you that. So you two hit the road, and don't bother trying to find me, because I've got wind. Uh, I mean, I'm like the wind. You never know where I might show up next. And I blow hard, and I can be cooling on a warm summer day. It, uh, uh, well, you get the idea. Goodbye, morons! Does he realize he has just transmitted his exact location? If not, he's about to find out. 
<laughs> What's so funny? Uh, nothing, I guess. Uh, prepare to die! You okay, Clank? Great. Let's go. Hello? Aren't you forgetting someone? Oops. <laughs> oh, I meant, uh, after we free Angela. Thanks. Now, before you run off, take a look at this. I picked it out of Lizard Boy's pocket. Log entry 4792. Returning from Megacorp's distribution center. I'm beginning to suspect that Megacorp has lied to me. The extra-large decorative paperweights being stored there might actually be an enormous supply of protopets. Which might explain why the whole facility is guarded by ravenous mutant creatures. Their warehouse ship may hold as many as 10 million crates, and with 100 protopets per crate, that could be as many as, um, 3.5 zillion protopets! A secret shipment that large can only mean one thing. Megacorp is up to no good. I will confront them as soon as possible and demand a bigger cut of the action. Are they insane? The galaxy is in far more danger than I had imagined. Do you suppose Mr. Fizzwidget... We've wasted enough time on Fizzwidget already. I swear that crazy old man is not the same person I used to work for. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You used to work for Megacorp? Yes, in the genetics division. On the protopet? On fixing the protopet's flaws. And I was this close to succeeding when Fizzwidget suddenly pushed up their release date. <sighs> Is it worth disrupting the protopet shipments? It's a start. But to stop them for good, we're gonna need to break into Megacorp headquarters. Break in? How? I have an old Megacorp ID on my home planet. We'll split up then. Clank and I will go to the distribution facility. You go grab the ID. See if you can find any more news on the protopets. And now, Behind the Hero brings you the conclusion of our series on Captain Quark. As of this airing, the fugitive superhero has been missing for almost six weeks. Did he die heroically? Was he the victim of an overzealous fan? Or is he still out there somewhere? The galaxy may never know, but stay tuned for more baseless speculation and crackpot theories on Behind the Hero. Well, no more Quark. Good. It is almost time for RoboChef. Incoming! Get down! What the? Hello. Ratchet and Clank. You lucky devils. Angela Cross. Has just sent you a galactic greeting. Guys, if you get this message, please meet me on my home world. Just so you know, I found my old ID badge. I'm pretty sure we can still use it to infiltrate Megacorp HQ, but you're gonna have to hurry. Before the protopets completely overrun us! Oh, and uh, sorry for the balloonogram. It was the only thing I could get off this We hope you enjoyed your galactic greeting. That Angela is quite resourceful. Yeah, she thinks of everything, doesn't she? She also appears to be in great danger. Go ahead. You'd be doing me a favor. So. Oh, sorry. It's just I thought you were one of them. Oh, dear, dear. What I'd give for even an ounce of their feral ignorance. A burden often accompanies self-awareness, sir. Living with the abject savagery of one's own kith and kin is quite more than one can bear sometimes. No, the torment of it all. I understand. I, too, am of a series designed to destroy. Oh. In that case, I have something that may interest you. But may I first humbly request a meager few bowls for food? Lovely long time since I've eaten. This is Darla Gratch reporting live from Algon City, where protopet mania is in full swing. For those who've spent the past week in hypersleep, the protopet is Megacorp's wildly popular bioengineered pet. A 
adorable, non-allergenic, and housebroken, fans of the creature have dubbed it the perfect companion. Between the protopet's surprisingly low price tag and its lightning-fast breeding cycle, there may soon be more than enough protopets for everyone. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. The entire population of that planet will be devoured. Unless we get there in time. like someone who could use a hypnomatic. Okay. Just bring us the part, and we'll make it for free. Ah, uh, for a fee. A very small fee. <laughs> Use it wisely. Do not even think about it. Oh, oh man. It won't budge. Violence is not the answer. Can you move this rock, sir? I am able. And? Patience, young one. For the rock to move, the forces of the universe must align. So, can we make these forces align a little faster? Ah, yes. The holistic resonance of moonstones may yet guide these wayward forces. Oh, yes. Your arrival with the Moonstones is most fortuitous, for it is in this very moment that I am able to move the rock. <laughs> Gee, what a coincidence. Thank you, sir. That was most helpful. Your gratitude is comforting, child. I have also found a piece of something called a Hypnomatic. You may have it in exchange for more Moonstones. Wait, I thought you had no need for material possessions. Please, do not lay your burdens upon me now. I am weary from lifting the rock, and I must rest. Uh, hello? We've got more moonstones. No, you have not. What? Existence is a lie. Sensations are illusions. Possessions are merely visions. All right, I've got an illusion of some moonstones. I'll trade it for a vision of that hypnomatic part. You have learned much, young one. Now bring me more moonstones, and riches shall be your reward. Hey, nice digs. Yeah, it's a little remnant from my previous life. You were reincarnated? No, no. My Megacorp days. They've got a very generous bonus package. Uh, right. So now that you've got your ID badge, how do we take out the protopet? Watch this. Mommy, where do protopets come from? Why, they come from Megacorp, dear. That's right, Mrs. Robot. All of the protopets in the galaxy come from right here in our factory. Your little friend is lovingly extracted from the original protopet. Each protopet is given a name and birth certificate that is unique. Our training system helps mold your pet into a wonderful friend that you'll cherish forever. So the next time your child asks, Mommy, where do protopets come from? You can answer with confidence. They come from Megacorp. That factory is using the original protopet to produce all the others. Exactly. If we can take out the original protopet, that'll shut him down permanently. 20% off a complete service at Groovy Lube? Oops. <laughs> Wrong one. This will deactivate the door to the protopet duplication area. 
I'll meet you there. Sure you want to split up? No, Megacorp's orbital defenses are nasty. With two ships, there's a good chance at least one of us will get through. Good thinking. Just be careful. <laughs> right. This is it. The protopet duplication room. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm late. I had some trouble with the guards. No problem. You're just in time. Okay, let's see if this thing works. She is trying to tell us something. Bye now. Enjoy the hygienator. <laughs> Remember, you bought it from Steve. <laughs> Steve McQuark. Indeed. Now that I've sold my one millionth hygienator, I can finance the comeback of the greatest superhero who ever lived, Captain Quark! All I need now is a new galaxy with a new fan base so I can rescue them from a new disaster! <laughs> But Sir, I do not understand. Mr. Fizz Widget! <laughs> this is bad. All right, just what the f is going on? <laughs> Allow me to explain. I'm about to save the galaxy from the protopets, and you are about to become public enemy number one. Oh, and two and three. Guards, seize them! Smile, it's showtime! <clears throat> Citizens of Bogon, I am Captain Quark. I come to you in this, your darkest of hours, to shine the flashlight of justice on your galaxy. <laughs> flashlight of justice? <laughs> oh. As you know, a living menace called the Proto-Pet has been set loose in your galaxy. But fear not, Boganites. I, Captain Quark, have caught the perpetrators. Yes, good citizens, these are the masterminds behind Megacorp's experiment with death. And now, with this, uh, super electro... Gadget I invented, I will end the protopet threat once and for all. That's my elixir I invented. Oof. Ahem. Stay tuned, dear viewers, as I amplify the signal from this helix so thingy and render every protopet in the galaxy completely harmless. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Does that Elixomorph actually work? It used to. I could probably fix it. Come on, Clank. Let's get it back. Mr. Fizzwidget. Quark had him tied up in a supply closet all this time. Gentlemen, you have my most profound gratitude. It was nothing, sir. I'm just sorry we couldn't get the Helixomorph back. <laughs> right. What do you suppose is wrong with it? Uh, I don't know. It could take months of research and... The battery is in backwards. Oops. Imbecilic to the very last. <laughs> Down, boy. I just have to amplify the device with Megacorp's TV transponders, and that should cure the other protopets. Clank? Uh oh. It's okay. I can fix her. I promise. So, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs>
So, whatever happened to Quark? I heard he was working at Megacorp. So, you fellas new here? You boys should sign up for the new Probomatic. That little baby cleans you something fierce. I just got done testing the full body waxinator. I am personally sporting a smooth chassis, and there are no tags on my luggage. All right then. Catch you later. Subject 23A. Please report immediately for crotchetizer testing. Well, duty calls. All right, fellas, nice and tight now. So you tested this, right? Oh, wait, that's why I'm here. <laughs> oh, one more thing. 